over the weekend, I, I had posted uh, a series of tweets uh, dealing with the whole issue of uh, the state of black media. And if you actually look at the eight existing black cable networks, some that are black owned, others that are not black owned, they, every week, they put out 1,344 hours of content. Let me say that again. I'm going to name them. BET, BET Her, TV One, their new network, Clio TV. You have Aspire, you have Bounce, you have Own, you have Revolt. Now, recognizing that Revolt, they actually air The Breakfast Club, they, they simulcast The Breakfast Club. But out of those eight networks, one thou, out of 1,344 <laughs> hours, there is not a single hour dedicated to a news show that targets African Americans. Why am I saying that? Because if you look at Orion Coogler, who everyone is supporting because of Black Panther, Ryan Coogler was affirmed at American Black Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Not Sundance, not Tribeca, not Cannes, American Black Film Festival. When you look at uh, Tiffany Haddish, and the Kevin Hart, and things that they're doing right now, then you think about a Will Packer affirmed at American Black Film Festival. When you think about I love people talk about the black folks you see who are on cable television. And when you see Angela Rye, when you see uh, Tiffany Cross or your David Swerlick, you see, I mean, I can go down the line. The question <laughs> is, when people were commentators, where did they first get a shot on shows that I hosted? I'm saying all of that because for all of the greatness of a Black Panther being done by Disney Marvel, all the greatness of seeing somebody black on a mainstream <coughs> cable news outlet or broadcast outlet, you have to go back to where did they get the shot yeah. to be able to show what they can do. Which means that we have to have our places that are creating the very platforms that will actually serve as a launching pad for folks to go to the next level. In the Willie Brown interview, he didn't say a white politician elevated him when he first started out. He said his fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha, and the NAACP. I'm saying all of that is because as we are moving to a new America, <coughs> a redefined America, we still have to understand that you have to have platforms that are speaking to our issues and our concerns, that are providing opportunities for us to be able to have the kind of conversations that we had today. The assimilation conversation we had, MSNBC will not allow that to happen. Jeff Zucker and CNN will not allow that to happen. It will not, be, it will not happen with uh, Suzanne Scott and Fox News. It will not happen on any of these networks because they don't look like us, which also means that we also have to support us. I didn't go to the HBCU, but I'm wearing the Clark Atlanta sweater to give them publicity, and hopefully you can give to them. So I'm laying all of this out so we understand that while we are talking about moving and operating in different spaces, we still better take care of home. Because, see, before you get to be tapped on the shoulder to direct Black Panther, you got to be able to do Fruitvale Station. That's right. Oh, yeah. And you got to be able to do a short. Before you're able to go to a major law firm, a law firm become a partner, well, you know what? You better have somebody who said, I got to be sure to position you as an intern in my firm when you're in college. I'm saying all of that because we still have to fund our freedom. We still have to support what is ours, and we still must be in control of the narrative because the other thing is this here. By being in those spaces where you get a shot, they're also affirming you 
and your point of view. And so if Eugene or Monique or Avis or Mike, if they're on this particular show, then let's say they're starting out, well then they can make mistakes and be coached and be trained versus discarded other places mm -hmm. because they're being affirmed, they're being nurtured, they're being shaped, they're being molded. And I dare say, it's a shame out of all those eight black cable networks if there's not one hour. I don't care about a special. I don't care about, oh, something happens, a Freddie Gray, oh, let's do a town hall. No, <laughs> we must be informing our people every single day and every single week of what is happening in our world. We should not be in a situation we are depending upon CNN and MSNBC and Fox News and ABC and NBC and CBS and the New York Times, Usher Today and Wall Street Journal to be shaping the narrative by which we discuss these issues. I fully expect every single person is running for president. And we also try to deal with Trump's people to have a conversation on this show, whether physically here or go where they are, because they need to be talking to us. We should not only have to ascertain what they think when they're appearing on the rest of those networks. And so I say to those network owners, those eight black networks, you're doing a disservice to the next generation of black children because what we are essentially doing is cultivating a group of people who only watch award shows, comedies, mm -hmm. dramas, and crime shows, yeah. and we're not putting anything else into their system and we're leaving it up to somebody else to do. In essence, what they're saying is, we are only going to feed black people, we're only going to sow seeds of entertainment to have them laughing and giggling as opposed to have them thinking and learning. Now, somebody out there watching right now say, oh, Roland, you're bitter because TV won't cancel your show. No, because what I'm saying right now, I say it on TV One. Yep. I say it on the network. This is no different, but I want us as black consumers to understand that if we continue to only support those who have us laughing and crying and not educating and not being informed, well then, whose fault is that? If we allow Bennett College to fail, whose fault is that? The president was on our show and she said 20 to 30 percent of Bennett College graduates give. What well, are 70 to 80 percent who graduated? What the hell are y'all doing? See, I know we go, well, yeah, but 23 percent is high. Yes, relatively speaking. What I'm saying is this show matters because even though it's 2019 and we're moving forward to a different America, we had better not take for granted having the space to be able to have the kind of conversations that we do because if they go away, then we can only blame ourselves because we didn't support it when they were there. And then we're begging somebody else to tell our story. And that's nothing worse than asking somebody else to tell your story. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. As I told you, of course, a lot of us are focused on getting healthy in 2019, and uh, one of the ways we can do that uh, is by doing the cleanse. And so the last 20 days, I've been doing the D-Herbs cleanse. Lord have mercy. Uh, all raw vegetables, fruits, and nuts. Uh, and so has not been, ha hasn't been too bad. I've done it before. Uh, and so I uh, ended up losing about 18 pounds total doing it. Uh, and for a lot of us, again, we're getting, it's for your core, you want to just be healthier, you want to have more energy. And so folks at D-Herbs uh, are partnering with us. And so what you can do is go to dherbs.com. You can actually use the promo code Roland if you want to actually want to do the cleanse. They have 27 different cleanses. And you can do some 10 days, some 20 days, some shorter, some longer. Uh, and so also so they have it for weight loss, all kind of different cleanses uh, that can help you out. And so we want you to, again, use the promo code ROLAND by going to dherbs.com. Back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.